Hey everybody, Adam Savage here in my cave with a tool tip that blew my mind and came from a good friend. Uh, okay, you are a hobby machinist like I am and you've got a big chunk of aluminum like this. This is uh, about five, three quarters of an inch thick and you wanna put a hole in it that's this big. What are your options? I'm just gonna let that keep going. What are your options for a hole like, it's not me, it's not my alarm, it's just somebody out on the street. What are your options for making a hole this big in a piece of aluminum like this? I'm here to tell you that it's a pain in the ass. Uh, you could go and get a really big fat milling bit, like this one, uh, but these things are scary, especially for hogging out big holes, man. They'll take the tip of your finger right off. I've seen it happen, not to me. I'm not naming names, but these things, moving that much material that fast, it is tiring. So uh, you could also go in, drill a hole and do a jigsaw, uh, but with material this thick, you're gonna use your scroll saw? You're gonna use a milling bit and then a boring bar to carve it out? Every option for making that hole in a home shop is exhausting, except for this new tool that I've recently found. Uh, and it came about because my friend John Knoll, the effects director of The Mandalorian and many other films in the Star Wars universe, uh, John is a highly accomplished uh, home machinist and said, dude, you've gotta check out annular cutters. And I was like, you know what? I came across that word about two months ago and I've been trying to remember the word annular because every other search term I tried to use for this kind of cutter did not yield what I was looking for. And when I saw it, I was like, those look really interesting. And John literally texted me out of the blue to say annular cutters are amazing. And with his say so, I bought a set. And this is an annular cutter. And I'm here to tell you that an annular cutter makes cutting a hole this big in a piece of aluminum this big an absolute pleasure. It is so far from terrifying, it is actually almost delightful. Um, you can purchase these singly or in a set. Here's a set that I had. Uh, that I purchased that seemed to carry to me most of the big sizes I would want. Um, these are most frequently built for mag drills. Drill Drills you would use a magnet on to attach to big pieces of steel for construction work and then it would automatically feed this cutter through the hole. But and, and when you do that, they actually come, they have an internal hole, they come with their own mode of lubrication. They come with a holder that feeds lubricant to the cut. But when you're working in your home mill, you don't need any of that. And I'm about to show you just how easy it is to cut a big fat hole with this. And I'm gonna use up this piece of aluminum just to demonstrate it. It's not like I'm, uh, you know, given a value, valuable material. This already spent a long time as a clamp for something else and it's got holes in it this way and holes in it this way and there's not a lot of useful meat left in this chunk. So we're gonna use it as a demo chunk. All right, I'm gonna set a couple of parallels here. And we'll get that. Why do you keep falling over? Stop it. Okay, my piece is in. Actually, I think, I think I could give you a better angle on this. Let's see. Okay, so here is the annular cutter uh, R8 holder. And actually, I could also, you can also just chuck them right into your standard R8 collet. This is a three quarters of an inch shank on this. Oh yeah, you don't need to see that bright light. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in. Now, the key with an annular cutter is you don't want it to go too fast. So, I'm going down to like 900 RPM on this and I may even go slower. I'm also gonna break out some cooling fluid um, and get this positioned up top and uh, I'm also very well might use 
Yeah, I'm gonna use my quill feet on this. But first I'm gonna get you a better angle. All right. There's my annular cutter and it's going. And I'm just gonna start feeding it in. I don't want this bird's nest, so, but I'm going pretty slow on this. So this isn't like heavy duty uh, swarf. This is actually almost like tin foil. And I just, right there with, listen, the quill feed here is not meant for high pressure. It's actually meant for gentle pressure. And yet with just a few turns, look at how deep I got already, yeah. We're on. Okay, so here we go. Okay. Yep. There she blows. Look at that. Just chewing it up. No chatter, no whistling. and we're through. Look at that. This isn't even too hot for me to touch, which almost any other cutting method I did would you would actually make this super, super hot. That is a beautiful, beautiful finish on that cut. And this is a very sexy, a very sexy bit. So why is it so amazingly good? Why does it make that cut so cleanly and without any of the normal noise and fire and brimstone of using a big ass bit like this? Well, specifically because this is actually moving and removing less material than this is, even though it's cutting a much bigger hole. I'll make it clear this way. Here's the plug that came out of the annular cutter. There is what the actual cutting that it did. This is cutting away a one inch wide piece of aluminum. That's a lot of atoms to move around. That is a lot of material to carve and that is hard on a bit. It's hard on a machine. It creates a lot of heat and that heat makes it worse. I, Everything about trying to move this much material is rough, but the annular cutter is only removing what's going on here on the outside. And it's got these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 blades doing that cutting simultaneously. And it's got, it's got this sharpened leading edge on these spirals that is what helps make that beautiful finish on the side of the cut. Because it's using, it's removing less material, the material itself gets less hot, the cutter lasts longer, make sure you use cooling fluid. But my life has been changed by these things. Um, I hope yours will be too. As always, with every new piece of equipment, read as much as you can up on it. Uh, be careful, go slow, use lots of cooling fluid. Uh, all the normal, All the normal caveats apply. But I am very happy to have, as I've said before on this channel, making holes is one of the most common and frequently one of the more difficult things I do, depending on the size of the, the size and location and material uh, that hole might be made out of and annular cutters. These aren't for handheld drilling, really not. They're not even really for drill press drilling. I don't think I would even try to get this into my drill press. Uh, I need the precision of a mill to utilize these, but when I have it, oh man, what possibilities these open up. Thank you, John, and thanks you guys for watching. Uh, I will see you next time.